There's an intriguing question that has puzzled humanity for ages. Do demons or malevolent entities have the ability to perform seemingly miraculous or supernatural acts? Today, we dive deep into this captivating topic. Demonology, the systematic study of demons or beliefs about demons, has been an area of interest for centuries. From religious scholars to curious individuals, the allure of the unknown and the unexplainable has been undeniable. The Bible, one of the most significant religious texts, contains numerous references to the deceptive powers of demons or dark entities. These entities, according to biblical accounts, have the ability to manipulate the physical world in ways that defy our understanding of natural laws. From illusions and deceptions to feats that mimic miracles, these dark entities have been portrayed as possessing powers that challenge our perceptions of reality. These biblical accounts have laid the foundation for our understanding and interpretation of demonic powers. From ancient texts to modern tales, the concept of demonic powers performing supernatural acts has persisted. Let's explore why. The Bible, among other religious texts, contains several instances of demons exhibiting supernatural abilities. One of the most infamous instances is found in the book of Exodus. Here, Pharaoh's magicians, believed to be aided by dark forces, were able to replicate some of Moses' miracles, such as turning their staffs into snakes. However, it's important to note that their powers were always outdone by Moses' divine abilities, symbolizing the superiority of divine power over demonic. In the New Testament, we find the story of Jesus casting out a legion of demons from a man in the region of the Gerasenes. The demons then entered a herd of pigs, which immediately rushed down a steep bank into a lake and drowned, demonstrating the destructive capabilities of these entities. Looking beyond Christianity, the Islamic tradition also shares stories of malevolent entities known as jinn, possessing supernatural abilities. In the Quran, King Solomon is said to have control over jinn, who performed tasks and built structures for him. Yet while Solomon's control over the jinn is seen as a divine gift, the jinn themselves are often associated with chaos and deceit. In Hindu mythology, Rakshasas are demonic beings known for their shape-shifting abilities and their knack for illusion and magic. They are notorious for using their powers to deceive and create havoc, further solidifying the cross-cultural belief in the deceptive nature of demonic entities. These instances, among others, have been interpreted differently across cultures and religious traditions. Some see them as literal historical accounts, while others view them as metaphors for moral and spiritual struggles. However, what's consistent is the depiction of these entities as possessing powers beyond human capabilities, often used to deceive, disrupt, and destroy. These ancient texts have set a precedent for the belief in demonic supernatural abilities, a belief that continues to this day. As we delve deeper into the realm of demonology, we will encounter modern-day claims and anecdotal stories that echo these ancient narratives, underscoring the enduring fascination and fear of the supernatural. Fast forward to the present day, and we still hear claims and stories of individuals who believe they've witnessed demonic miracles or manifestations. In recent years, a man from the Midwest reported that he saw his grandmother's old rocking chair move on its own, despite there being no wind or anyone else present. He firmly believes it was the work of a mischievous spirit. Across the globe, a woman in Japan claims her house is haunted by a demon that turns off lights and moves objects when she's not looking. She insists that she's seen the silhouette of an entity through her peripheral vision, a presence that was not there when she turned to look. There's also the case of a group of teenagers in Spain who, after playing with a Ouija board, reported a series of strange occurrences. They claimed to hear whispers, experienced chilling drafts, and saw shadowy figures in the corners of their eyes. They are convinced they invited a demonic entity into their lives. These narratives share a common thread. They are met with skepticism, often dismissed as the result of overactive imaginations or natural phenomena misinterpreted. The rocking chair could have been moved by an unnoticed draft, the lights could be faulty wiring, and the strange occurrences in Spain could be attributed to heightened fear and suggestion. Yet these stories are subjected to investigations, aiming to determine their veracity. Paranormal investigators employ a variety of tools and methods, from infrared cameras to EVP recorders, in an attempt to capture evidence of the supernatural. Often these investigations yield inconclusive results, further fueling the debate between belief and skepticism. 
Skepticism, while healthy, can sometimes dismiss the unexplainable too quickly, leaving those who have experienced these events feeling unheard and isolated. On the other hand, belief without question can lead to fear and misunderstanding, giving power to things that may not deserve it. While these stories are chilling, they also raise important questions about the nature of belief and skepticism. Science and psychology offer different perspectives on these phenomena, often contrasting with faith-based interpretations. Some psychologists suggest that what we perceive as demonic powers may be manifestations of our subconscious fears and cultural biases. They argue that our brains, in an attempt to make sense of the world, might interpret unexplainable events as supernatural. On the other hand, science often seeks physical explanations for these occurrences. Neuroscientists, for instance, have studied hallucinations and altered states of consciousness, suggesting that these could be mistaken for demonic manifestations. Some researchers argue that electromagnetic fields, infrasound, and even mold exposure can cause experiences that people may interpret as supernatural. These perspectives challenge the belief in demonic powers, suggesting that what we perceive as supernatural may have earthly explanations. Yet, despite these explanations, belief in demonic powers remains strong in many cultures. Our perceptions of demonic powers are heavily influenced by our culture, movies, and literature. Over time, these elements have woven a rich tapestry of narratives, often embellishing the purported supernatural capabilities of these entities. From Hollywood blockbusters to spine-chilling novels, the depiction of demons performing miracles or exhibiting extraordinary powers has become a staple. This constant exposure has undoubtedly shaped our collective understanding of such phenomena. These influences often blur the line between fact and fiction, making it even harder to discern the truth. In the face of unexplainable phenomena, finding a balance between skepticism and belief becomes crucial. When we encounter the seemingly supernatural, it's important to approach with discernment. It's a tightrope walk, teetering between the realms of faith and reason. We must be open to the mysteries of the universe, yet critical of the tales that may be cloaked in deception. Whether demons truly possess supernatural powers remains a mystery, but our fascination with the question undeniably continues.